Dirk, you said that they'd be better, you'd play better, and you did there, that was superb. Yeah, it was good, and um, I finished what I, I fin did finish what I needed to finish, with a few good finishes in it. I think Adam played very well, and um, I was on a double, and he hits a 1-4-5, I was like, oh, here we go, he's on point now, and then I was on 170, I was like, I'll get you back, and I hit it, and... I think that was that was the key in the game. So he he gave it at me, and I gave it straight away back. And we've seen you so far in the William World Championship. When you get into a zone, you can stay there and win leg after leg. You did it when you came back against Bradley Brooks. You did it later on against Rob Cross, and you did it there pretty much from the start. Yeah, that's what I thought. I uh, wasn't happy with the way I started the other two games. And it was like, you need to start well from scratch. And first leg wasn't that good. And here's the one for five with me sitting on a double. Like after we had a 12 or a 170. So they're like, yeah, now we'll go for it. And yeah, what can I say? He played well, I played well. And I think I had some crucial finishing to win it. Because I think he was very close to winning it as well for the, with the same uh, number of score. We saw Michael Van Gerwen last night with 4 0 against Ricky Evans, who played brilliantly. That performance, that wasn't far off MVG levels, was it? In terms of how he, all the right shots at the right time, big ton plus average, and seeing off an opponent who played well very easily. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure. I only think the last two sets I felt like how I practiced. First two sets were like, it felt okay. And last two sets, like, yeah, we're getting close to how I practice. Like, I was speaking with my mate and I said, if I if I got the throw like how I need to throw, I hit a 180 every leg at least. So eventually I didn't hit that much 180, so I think there's more in the tank to go. Well, you're into the last 16 of the William Hill World Championship, either Danny Baggish, the American qualifier, or Glenn Durant, the Premier League champion. You might be favourite for that game, you? even if it doesn't. Mom. I don't think I'm favoured against the Premier League champion, do you think? The way you've been playing, your results in tournaments over the last few months. You're the form player, aren't you? Well, I'm in form, but Glenn is a very good player. I don't think I'll be a favourite against him. I think we're close to equal, but I think he will always be the favourite. And the Danny, Danny Baggish, I've seen him playing against Adrian Lewis. He has the things at the moment as well, man. He's the 170, 161 as well. So I think it's an eagle game there as well. This has taken a long while for you to get to the stage where you're bringing your practice game onto the big TV tournaments, but now you're doing it consistently. How far could you go in well, the world of darts? I disagree with you there. Well, we've seen it at the Grand Prix, we've seen it here. Uh, I mean, it's happening more regularly. I, f I think this, this game was getting close to my practice game, but the other ones were like, my, my, I, I can do better than I did in recent games. Only you just see that I, the experience makes me play better now. Like, uh, let's say my, my normal standard, if, if, I, if, if I hit 94, I don't, very think it's, I don't think it's very good. I think it's okay in hitting a 94 average. So if you hit a good game, I think my, my standard should be 97, 98. And I don't think I hit that standard a lot on telly, but that was the first time. Because I didn't re even realize it was 104. I just asked uh, Dave Allen, I was like, what's my average? Because I thought it was like, yeah, 96, 97, 104. Okay, that's, that, that's good. How far can you go in this game, Dirk? Like, do you believe you can be a top 10 player, top eight, top four, world number one? I mean, what's, what do you think you can do? Well, my goal was to be world champion eventually. But I don't think I'm good enough yet. Uh, I don't know. I speak with people and I said, they said, what, what's your goal in your, in your life career, like in darts? And I said, I don't matter what, as long as I um, got as best as I could. That's what I'm trying to. I don't know what, what my maximum is. I know what I can do in practice. I know that that game is good enough to be let's say top eight, but I think it's higher, but 
but you have to do it on stage. If you don't do it on stage, you end up not being top eight. Well, big step forward tonight. Well done. Thank you. So just talking about doing it on stage, you're now one win away from the top 32. Would that be another box ticked once you're into that elite top 32? Well, that's not even sure yet, is it? Well, if you win the next game, you go top 32. Yeah, but if Danny Baggage beat me and he meets the semis or the final, I'm not top 32. But yeah, that's a goal of mine, reaching top 32. But it's not sure if I win two games because I think Ryan Searle and Baggage can go over me, Dolan as well. I'm not sure of being top 32 of winning the next game. Just listen to you talk there, obviously you know that off the top of your head. Is ranking something that you look at a lot then? No, I just have goals. I don't look at it a lot. I had a few goals before starting the Worlds. Um, one goal was to be the best Bulls player, Bulls and L. So I needed to be up top of uh, Max Hopp and Kim Hybrex was first goal. It's, it, it's not like a competition, but just for your head. You, you give yourself goals to give you some motivation. And after that was, uh, so I spoke with my sponsor and he said, what's your next goal then? Reaching top 32, but I need two games to win at least. I said, okay, we'll go for that one. So just go step by step, making new goals and hopefully I'll reach them. When we spoke to you back at the Grand Prix, you said before COVID struck, you were in the best form that you'd been in and you weren't quite at that level yet. What would you say out there? Is this now better than what you were pre-COVID? Well, practicing is a bit better than I was pre-COVID. But pre-COVID, my practicing was very good. And I didn't feel the same feeling after that all year. And now I feel I'm better than then. But back before COVID, I, I practiced very, very good as well. We know you love the job you do. If you were to win this, would you give that up and turn full-time professional ever or not? Would you give up your job? No. Me neither. That pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers. Jack, we know you spent, obviously, the three days over Christmas in the hotel. How were those three days for you? More than three days, mate. Yeah, more than three <laughs> days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was here since my last game, and I think I played on 22nd. Yeah. Now I played with 28, so I was here for five extra days or four. Well, I, I've had better Christmas, but um, yeah, I prefer having not so a not so good Christmas than being at home and not being in the tournament anymore. Does the win tonight make the sacrifice worth it? Well, uh, if it would have lost, it would have been a sacrifice as well. That's what you do. If you perform, you miss Christmas. So that's what your first goal is. And now I won. Yeah, of course, it's worth the sacrifice, but if, if I would have lost, it would have been as well. Because this is what you're doing it for. Cheers. Cheers. Just one from me, Dad. You ended up not walking on with, the, with, with an aubergine in your hand. Why did you, why did you dump the aubergine? You did you watch my last match as well? Oh, yeah, I that as well. I didn't do it there as well. Eh? No, but um, I think you, don't, you shouldn't overdo the things you're doing. I was handed the aubergine three minutes before I walked on. I was like, should I do it? Should I do it? Well, I did it. But I told them afterwards, the guy who gave me the aubergine just before my walk, and I said, ah, don't do it again, because you don't want to overdo the things. It needs to be special and nice, and shouldn't be like, oh, aubergines again. Get what I mean? Yeah, of course, yeah. Cheers. Cheers.